Hi, Jimmy. Hi. According to actor Ray Seahorn, the ending scene for Kim Wexler and Jimmy McGill in the Better Call Saul season finale was shot significantly differently. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm not According to actor Ray Seahorn, the ending scene for Kim Wexler and Jimmy McGill in the Better Call Saul season finale was shot significantly differently. The popular Breaking Bad prequel, which debuted in 2015, mostly follows Jimmy's transformation into the shady criminal defense attorney known as Saul Goodman. The deuteragonist of the show and Jimmy's future wife, Kim, has a significant impact on Jimmy's development. Better Call Saul ultimately reveals itself to be a heartbreaking tale of Jimmy and Kim's love. Jimmy's gene pseudonym is compromised in the recently televised Better Call Saul season finale, leading to his quick arrest by law enforcement. Jimmy finally changes his mind and does the right thing after utilizing his trademark cunning strategies to negotiate a plea agreement that calls for only seven years in prison despite a long list of offenses, including accomplice to murder after the fact. I'm going to negotiate with this man, you're not. His grand scheme include rejecting the plea bargain and coming clean in front of the judge while Kim is present. Jimmy is given an 86-year sentence as opposed to just seven. Kim sees Jimmy in prison for one more intense scene in a shocking twist. When discussing the Better Call Saul season finale with you, Seahorn revealed that a few different incarnations of the last sequence were shot. Only one of the potential resolutions, in which Kim shoots finger guns back at Jimmy, is described by Seahorn. We actually shot a few other variations, including those in which she fires her finger guns back at him. In the end, co-creator Peter Gould decided that it looked too much like they were saying, Kim is back in the game, and we really didn't want to give that idea. It was very little, not animated, and did not have a smile. If Better Call Saul had gone with the alternate ending that was filmed, Kim firing the finger guns back at Jimmy would have been a way of further bringing things full circle. <laughs> the pistol fingers carries great significance between the two, originated by Jimmy during the Better Call Saul season 4 finale, when he informs Kim he will be practicing law under the alias Saul Goodman and later mimicked by Kim during the season 5 finale indicating she is serious about scamming Howard. However, it also speaks to a very different time in their lives, so the gesture might have rung hollow in the end. Better Call Saul probably made the right decision to use the ending it did. As it stands, the final moments between Jimmy and Kim serve as an understated acknowledgement of the deep bond the two characters share. Wait, Jimmy, Jimmy, what? It's all good, man. Kim firing the finger guns back would have likely made the emotional moment less melancholic and much more confusing for audiences. However, a glimmer of the alternate ending remains, as Kim can be seen making a slight pistol shape with her hand. Jimmy's actions during the Better Call Saul finale appear to have mended his relationship with Kim, giving the series its elusive happy ending.